up guys, RJ Trick 6 here and we're back in another video and today we will be doing some NFL predictions for the 2017-2018 season. Alright guys, now starting off in the AFC, we have the Patriots at 12-4, and four, AFC East. So we have the Patriots at 12-4, and four, even though they got r r get rid of a good running back in LeGarrette Blunt, they're still... They still have a core, and they're not really going to be challenged this year in the AFC East. Now, in second place, we have the Jets. And as of now, they're in the top of the division at, in the AFC East preseason, but I still, I still think they'll only be 7-9 this year as they're still in their rebuilding stages. Now, also at 7-9, we have... We have my my the Miami Dolphins and they are going to be again good but I don't think as good as to challenge the Patriots for the division now in in fourth place we have the Buffalo Bills at at 6 and or at 6 and 10 now I don't think they will be as good as last year's 7 and 9 because they just don't have the core, and the division is getting better, but I don't think the Buffalo Bills are getting much better. Now, in the AFC North, we start off with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, I still, as the same thing going back to the Patriots, they will not be challenged this year for the division. And, um, and they will go 11-5, and, 11 and 5, taking the third seed in the AFC in the playoffs. Now, next, this is kind of, this is not very bold, but we have the Ravens at 9-7. Now, they'll take a they'll take a wild card spot, but it'll be very slight as their loss of Ray Lewis a couple years ago is bad and, and they'll never rebuild as much as that. And now we have in third place the Cleveland Browns going six six and ten. Now you may be thinking, RJ, what is up with this? Now the they they're rebuilding and they're not getting much better. But remember they did get a lot better at the end of last season and now I think they will be going on to better things. And it's in and in fourth place in the AFC North, we have the Cincinnati Bengals at five and eleven. Now they won't be as they won't be very good this year, as Andy Dalton isn't just isn't a very good franchise QB as compared to some of the other teams, and they just haven't been in the rebuilding stages very well. So yeah, that's moving the on to the AFC South, we have Houston at ten and six. Now this is not a crazy prediction as they won last year, but they will get eliminated in the first round of the playoffs and as they did by the Patriots last year. Now in second place we have the India Indianapolis Colts at eight and eight. Now they will not they will not make the playoffs, but they're still rebuilding and um they will get better in the years to come. Now, in third place, we have the Tennessee Titans also at 8-8. Eight and eight. Now, Marcus Mariota is going to get better in years to come, but he doesn't have anything to build around now. So that's going to have to wait for a couple years. And in fourth place, at 6-10, at and 10, you have the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, they haven't been good in years past, but they'll get a little bit better, but they will not be a serious contender yet. All right, moving on to the N NFC East. This is my realm of expertise right here as a yo boy Eagles fan. And um, in first place, we got the Eagles. This may be a little bit biased, but they're going to go 10-6. and six, And I think they've gotten a lot better in the offseason. Carson Wentz, I can guarantee you, is going to get better this season as our new... Franchise quarterback 
and adding Alshon Jeffrey and LeGarrette Le Blunt to the crew is going to help them advance to the division title at 10 and 6. Now, at 9 and 7, we have the Giants clinching a wild card spot. Now, I don't think the NFC is going to be as hard this year, and so that is why they clinch a wild card spot at 9, nine and 7. And they are not going to let down to the Cowboys coming in at third place this year. Now, Zeke Elliott getting suspended six games will definitely hurt them. And I think they'll either go two and four and three and three in those span as they only wa lost one of their first 12 games in at the beginning of the year last year. And now in fourth place at seven and nine, we have, oh, and by the way, Dallas was eight and eight. So, a Washington, the Washington Redskins are going to be seven and nine this year. They just look like the weakling in the division this year, and it will be a bright year for this. Right now, Dennis. these three ha weren't these three division titles weren't as hard as, of a choice for me. Coming in first place in the NFC North is Green Bay, and I doubt they'll be challenged this year by any of the other teams. Now, coming in at second, at nine or at eight and eight is Detroit. Now I'm a, I'm your homeboy from Detroit. I like the Detroit Lions, but I don't think they will do as well as they did last year, and they will not clinch a playoff spot. And now coming in at third at seven and nine is going to be the Minnesota Vikings. Now they don't have a core. I think they will possibly improve. Now that the Adrian Peterson circus is gone, but they will not do as well as last year. And now Chicago coming in at four and twelve is just not ready yet, and they will not do. Now moving That's on to the right. NFC South, we have Atlanta at eleven and five. As they they will not get to the Super Bowl like they did last year, but they aren't going to be challenged by any of the other teams in in the division. Now Carolina making it back to the playoffs at nine and seven that may be bold, but I think they can do it. And um, I think Cam Newton is going to have a good year, even though he does not have as many players as he did in the very good year that they had. And now at eight and eight we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers not clinching a playoff spot. Now. You may be thinking they were almost in the playoffs and they have improved a little bit, but this division is, I think, the only one in the NFC that has improved, maybe other than the NFC East, and they will not make the playoffs. And now, finally, at 6-10, we have the New Orleans Saints. Now, they almost made the playoffs last year. They are not good enough, and they will not build around Drew Brees. And now in the NFC West, we have Seattle at 12-4, and four, making it back to the playoffs as the two seed, just behind, um, or no, making it to the playoffs as the one seed in front of the Atlanta Falcons as the two seed. And now, they are... They still have the Legion and Doom intact, and Russell Wilson is a seasoned quarterback to come. Now, in coming in at eight and eight is the who was it? It's the Arizona Cardinals. Now, last year they were promising, but this year they won't be as good. And now we have the Rams at seventy nine. Um. Moving to Los Angeles may help them as new fresh air, but they will not make the playoffs and they won't be remotely close to the division title. And now at 5-11 and 11 this year, we have the San Francisco 49ers. So that, and they will just not be good this year and they may have to wait through five, six more years to make the playoffs. Thank you guys for watching. Um, 
feel free to leave your predictions in the comments and feel free to bust me about being a homer with the Eagles, but I think they will be pretty good this year. And um, don't or remember to subscribe down below and leave a comment in the description. If you like these, I will do more with the NBA, NHL, and um, and whoa, MLB next year. So, yeah, that'll be all good. And we will see you guys in the next one. Adios.